Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews, and welcome to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews, from Northampton, New Hampshire, Throwback Brewery. This is Hank's Ale Ale. It has an alcohol by volume of 4.8% ABV. And like so many other craft breweries around New Hampshire and around the country, Throwback began canning their beer this year in 2016. Throwback itself has been around for five or six years. They were part of the first wave of craft breweries that cropped up in New Hampshire. Uh, and, uh, and since then, uh, they've been continuing on, they've expanded, and the place is really quite an operation. This, in this case, the, beers, uh, the beer is brewed with some uh, barley malts that are grown in Massachusetts. So they like to keep things local. In fact, they grow some of their own ingredients right there on the grounds in Northampton. The name Hank's Pale Ale, it's named after uh, the dog, uh, the late dog of one of the co-founders, uh, Annette and Nicole, and uh, it was named after Nicole's dog. So, and that must be him right there. So anyway, I'm gonna get right into this. Looking forward to having my first canned beer from Throwback. I have had plenty of beer from Throwback. I haven't reviewed a lot of their beer on my channel for some reason, not sure why, because their beer is pretty good. They specialize a lot in spicy and grainy type beers. Uh, Herb specialized beers, you know, beers that have a lot of interesting herbal, spicy, unique characteristics, peppers, things like that in them. So, so let's give this a pour and check it out. Put this over here. Okay. Well, take a look at this pale ale in this uh, New Hampshire brew, New Hampshire glass. Foggy, cloudy, unfiltered, and orange, light amber color. Busy carbonation going up to this white, small, but white, foamy head. Busy head. Let's check out the aroma. It smells like a good pale ale with a bit of a slight. Yeah, I'm going to say it's got the barley grain character, the, the toasted roasted barley, and the bread character, but I'm also picking up a kind of a, a slight apricot, maybe a peach character as well. Also, I'm getting a bit of a citrus, so apricot, peach, citrus, those kind of can go together. Slight herbal quality to it. Hmm. Kind of a nice, uh, I'm picking up more of a fruity type, not a bold fruity type character, but just kind of an ester of fruitiness in this. Okay, let's check out the taste. Mm. Okay, very nice. This only has uh, 32 international bittering units, 32 IBU, and so that's um, low to moderate. Okay, now the taste. I do get that barley grain character. Definitely get a toasted barley grain character in this beer. And then there's a nice bitter bite that comes up on the backside that really kicks in. While I got a more of a fruity type aroma on this beer, you know, the apricots, the peaches, and maybe even a grape or something, I picked up a little bit of that, but uh, I'm not getting as much of that in the flavor, but I am getting more of a spicy bite. Uh, the spicy bitter bite on this beer, which I think is kind of interesting. It's easy drinking though. It's probably a body that's in the medium range. Um, easy, easy drinking beer. Maybe a little bit on the, uh, I don't want to say acidic, but it's got some carbonation going on. It doesn't, it didn't really carbonate, didn't come up with a big head, but I feel this kind of bubbly carbonation uh, in, the, uh, in the sensation as well on this beer. Very easy drinking. They brew this year round. So um, it's something that uh, you can have pretty much any time of the year with just about any type of meal. It's something you can pair up with burgers, dogs, pizza, you know, uh, um, <laughs> Philly cheese, steak and cheese, anything, all those kind of, those kind of, those kind of uh, greasy type meals you like, you know, uh, goes well with one of them. <laughs> I said very easy drinking beer. I think this would be a very approachable beer for people who are trying to get into craft beer for the first time because a lot of people are kind of people who have grown up on Bud Miller Coors, American uh, Pale Lagers, uh, things of that nature uh, and really don't know much more about craft beer beyond maybe they've had a Sam Adams or something perhaps or maybe a Blue Moon or something but uh, this might be one of those kind of beers that might be approachable for someone to be introduced to the craft beer craze that's going on because it still has some of those easy drinking characteristics. It's got a bit of a bite though. It's got more of a bite than someone might be used to after drinking those other beers I mentioned. But I think it's got a good, nice flavor to it that might be enticing enticing to someone who is trying to uh, start out learning more about craft beer. So 
that will do it for now. This is from Throwback Brewery of New Hampshire, Hank's Pale Ale. So thanks for stopping by, and I'll catch you again next time.